resulting to any violence, much less gun violence, is just not tolerable. And it's not something we should do as a society. And as we continue to talk about gun violence, new at five, Mobile Interim Police Chief William Jackson is talking out about gun violence locally. Yeah, this comes after a slew of shootings in the port city. On top of the ones we just mentioned to you, three at apartment complexes and the other outside of a convenience store. Just moments ago, our Ashlyn Mitchell sat down with the chief and Ashlyn, he says some of these shootings were domestic related, correct? Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Shelby. And he is stressing that it's imperative people learn to settle arguments in a peaceful way. He says all three shootings this weekend were among people who knew each other. And out of all violent crime, Chief Jackson says domestic violence is dangerous, not only for the victims involved, but also for the police responding. With the two homicides that happened over the weekend in the city limits, Chief Jackson says that brings the number of homicides in Mobile for 2024 to 25. This time last year, he says Mobile was sitting at 20 homicides. Now, Chief Jackson says the Mobile Police Department is aggressively attacking the gun violence through their intelligence-led policing model. Chief Jackson and Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch are working together to make sure they're combating the problem city and countywide. In the meantime, Chief Jackson says domestic violence in the city of Mobile is a systemic problem and one they won't stop fighting. Whether, you know, that be a a dating relationship or a married relationship, but usually the, the domestic violence is, is a relationship. You should be able to feel home, safe in your home, your apartment, your home, wherever you are, and those bullets go through walls and innocent people can get injured or hurt. Chief Jackson adds that police cannot do their job without the support or help of the community because they can't be in every place at one time. So he's encouraging citizens to continue to use the We Tip crime system where you can give police information anonymously. Reporting live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.